When I was little, I used to go to the school with my grandfather. He took me there. And then on our way to the school, we always stopped by a, a workshop, a classic car workshop. And there was these guys working with uh, big American cars from the 40s and the 50s or European uh, rally cars from the 60s. And we always joked that maybe someday I could have my own. It's, it's something that's always been in my mind and, and finally nowadays is coming true. Seven or eight years ago, I was about to, to buy one and uh, an old Beetle from the 60s. But luckily I, I didn't make that choice. I finally didn't get that car. It was too rusty. And then, well, a year ago, I, I finally got this, this Black Beetle, 1953, and um, it's a dream come true. I, I don't know, it, it might be silly for some people, but it's a dream come true for me, and I'm super happy with the car. So I, uh, the choice was always a, a pre-58 car. Uh, for, for people involved into Volkswagen culture, uh, pre-58s are always uh, some, some rare cars and harder to find, but also, also, also better cars. Uh, this used to have an oval window in the back. It doesn't have it because they changed it in the 60s. I gotta, I gotta put it back into the car. So that, that's basically the main thing into a 53 model. And, uh, well, I, I want to use it daily. I, I want a daily driver. I don't want to be worried all day about the engine or the oil dripping, because it's, it's normal in these kind of cars. Like, it will break down someday. I don't want to be worried about that. I want to use it normally. I want to pick up my wife with it. I want to drive in the weekends with it and, and have fun and enjoy it, because it's, it's a car to have fun with. I'm a painter. I'm a painter since 2008. That's when I finished fine arts in, in Madrid. And since then I'm making a living out of this. And basically I'm focusing my career into two themes, which are classic bicycles and classic cars. I, I always thought classic cars are a piece of art by themselves. And, and basically what I'm doing is is, is honoring them with my paintings and, and making a portrait of an art piece. So for me, it's, it's, it's just making, making them bigger, look better and, and shinier and nicer in my paintings. I've, I've always defended that you gotta work in something that you really like, that you're passionate about. And, and for me, my passions are, are my cars and are my toys and are my brushes, my, my canvas my studio and that's where I spend most of, the, most of my day so I can say I'm proud that I'm making a living out of something that are, are, that are my passions so it's, it's not really, it's not even a job for me, it's just spending my time, enjoying my time, enjoying my life with this. The thing that not much people see is, is that you gotta work very hard in your studio to, to make all this happen. Like, you know your, your painting is gonna end up hanging in somebody's house or somebody's wall and the process is very long. You gotta start finding the stuff you want. You gotta, you gotta paint it. You gotta spend a lot of time doing it. Sometimes it's not as good as you think, so you gotta restart it again. And, and finally, it's finally sometimes it's worth having your signature. And then that's when, when all comes together, and that's when, when the process is beautiful. When, when you've done a good job, you work very hard, and, and then it, it all comes together. Soy Manu Campa. Tengo un escarabajo de 53 y esto es lo que hago. 